All right, skinning is by far the most boring thing to watch. So I'm gonna offer some skinning tricks and show you how to skin, but I'm not gonna skin every part because I already did that. And here's how it works. In order to conquer the tedium of skinning, we have to name things conventionally. As before, naming things conventionally is very important. So here's all my meshes. Notice I have them grouped. So I grabbed all the meshes in the scene, I modified or edit delete by type history on them, um, like this. Oops, I want to undo that now, sorry. I don't want to do that because they're skinned and you don't want to delete history on a skinned object. So if I have all these and they're grouped together, how I group them together is very simple. I went to the general tab, highlighted all my meshes, and then I hit group. Is it important? Not really. I mean, it's just easier to manipulate things back in Unity with them all like that. It offers me another transform node that's perfectly centered on the character's weight. Another thing I did is I took all these polygon planes right here and took and mesh combined them before I skinned them because I want one item called blast. I do not want four items called blast because that would be four separate scripts or four separate items I have to call via script. So I want one item. I did that by highlight them and going to polygons and going mesh combined will make them into one item. Then all you do is have to grab all your meshes and then your bone and then go in here under the animation tab and go into skin, bind skin, smooth bind. Since you named everything conventionally, it's a very easy step because all I do is have to click on its respected part, go to the animation tab, and click on the weight. So this is right arm in. So now all I do is have to find right arm. And for each one of these, I have to toggle it to be one. So I flood it to be one with the replace. Each one has to be done that way. So right arm and right arm out have to be toggled onto right arm and flood that. Soldier and right soldier, you can do them together if you wanted to. So here's right soldier and left soldier. What you can do is go over here to Lurper and then flood those by going into flood. So that's just a very quick way to doing it since you named everything conventionally. The only thing different here is the blasts. So if you can see the blasts, uh, they're all one object. So if I go to hit this button, it's just going to, it's gonna look like this. So here's a very fast way. If you go to vertex and highlight the vertexes, hold control and right click, you can go to shell and this is my right barrel, okay? So if I click here, now that those are highlighted, and go to right barrel, you can see that they are highlighted because I went over here and I flooded it, just like that. And I did that with the same on the other side. I, I first went in here and I highlighted the vertices. I go in here to shell, and again, I went clicking and then this would be my left barrel. So that's how you do it if the objects are all combined into one. The next thing you should do is make sure everything moves conventionally. So just like this, this moves just like that. That's a good thing. And why it's disappearing like that, I don't have to worry about that. It's a, it's a Maya thing. It's not gonna happen in Unity, I hope. So, and if it does, we can make a little adjustment here and there back and forth. We can move objects uh, and it won't leave a transform node, but if we move any vertices on the objects, it will leave a transform node and therefore it will leave history and history is bad in respect. So that is the 101 of skinning, skinning tricks. Um, I would have done it throughout the whole entire video, but it's very boring to watch. It's very tedious to watch. Uh, you'll find that out once you start flooding your parts to one for each object. All right, so in the next video, what I want to do is show you some animation tricks.